Hello and welcome to another C-Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one we are going to calculate a kinetic energy. In physics, an object that is in motion is said to have kinetic energy. The following formula can be used to determine a moving object's kinetic energy. Kinetic energy equals 1 half multiplied by m multiplied by v to the power of 2. So, Ke is the kinetic energy, m is the object's mass in kilograms, and v is the velocity of the object in meters per second. Create an application that allows the user to enter an object's mass and velocity and then display the object's kinetic energy. We should have a function named kinetic energy that accepts the object's mass in kilograms and velocity in meters per second as arguments, and the function should return the amount of kinetic energy that the object has. Now I already have the form ready, which is very simple. User enters the mass and the velocity and then we'll calculate the kinetic energy and display the result in a text box. So let's do the function first. We can do a private and it returns the kinetic energy. So it returns a double kinetic energy is the name of the function. And it accepts a double of m m is the mass in kilograms and double of v which is the velocity in meters per second and now we can simply return the result of the calculation so we can do a double key e and it equals the formula is 0 0.5 multiplied by m which is the mass multiplied by v to the power of 2 so since it's a v to the power of 2, we'll use a math that power of 2 will be for the v, for the velocity, and the power is 2, because we do in power of 2. And we can return our key e, our kinetic energy, as a result of the function, uh, and a result of the calculation. Now we process the uh, result, or the return value, in our uh, button click calculate uh, event and that to do that we need to actually supply the m, m and v which are the input from the user so we can create a double called m for the mass and double for v for the velocity and now we can verify that the user entered a valid uh, input so we can do uh, if and see these are doubled so it's double that try parse and the first one is the uh, m, which would be the mass, txt mass dot text. If it validates, we'll get out our m. And if the uh, double dot try parse, this time it's the velocity text, and we'll get out our v for the velocity. So if this validates, we can call the function. If it doesn't validate, we'll display a message. So it will simply say, uh, display a message box that show, please enter valid numbers. And we can say that it's an invalid input. All right, so that's if it doesn't validate. If it does validate, we can uh, call the function and assign the result uh, or the return value of the function to a variable key e that we are going to create it's going to be a double it's a key e for kinetic energy and our kinetic energy equals the return value of the function kinetic energy and we supply in two doubles one for mass and one for velocity so the function returns the result we store it in our key e variable and now we can display the result in our text box so it's going to be txt uh, kinetic energy that text box that, that text equals r key e uh, value and we can do it to string and format it to a number just because uh, we are outputting it to our uh, text box all right so let's run it and see how it works so let's say the mass is i don't know 99 kilograms and the velocity is uh, 101 um, meters per second and we get 
kinetic energy of 504,949.50. Now let's verify it. I have a Google calculator here. And so we can do a mass, which is 99, a velocity, which is 101, and we'll calculate the kinetic energy. And we get 504,949.50. So it works exactly the same as our application. So we can assume it's calculating correctly. Okay, so uh, this is the exercise. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.